Ready? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hi. We're back. First Sunday game of the season. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. I wish it was beautiful out. You know, I wish it was, like, sunny like the Sunday is. Yeah. But, no, we've got some kind of dreary weather. Don't worry. We'll give you the weather update. Yeah, we promise. All right, first draw is out for the thoroughbreds. Here today on Wackenheim Field, we have Skidmore College versus SUNY Oneonta, the Dragons. Skidmore will receive the first draw. De Benedictus carries the ball down the center of the field on their transition. Down to Mar. Finds its way to Modesti behind the goal line extended. Modesti looks for that crease roll, pulls out, passes up top to Mar. Balls behind, up with to Benedictus, to Lockwood, Lockwood to McKinley. McKinley looks to drive, pulls it out. 40 seconds on the shot clock for the Thoroughbreds in their first offensive possession. Ha yet to take a shot. Really working it around. Modesti goes for the crease roll, gets stopped. And there's a pass out of bounds. Ball That's ball. going to be a dragon ball. Dragon ball. <laughs> Suni Onyanta pushing the ball into their attacking zone, but Modesti with the check. Onyanta will pick that up. Modesti with another check. And the ground ball. Great cause turnover there by the senior. Thoroughbreds have been great in their redefend oh, yeah. on their transition. They like to lock it down, obviously avoiding the new green car rules, but so far they've had a lot of success stopping teams from getting the ball down into their offensive end. And Thoroughbreds will have 70 seconds on the shot clock to make something happen. Ball is behind with Schwartzman. Passed up top to DiBenedictus. DiBenedictus dodges, shot. Save for Oneonta. Rebound for Oneonta, and it'll go to the keeper. Number 32, Hawkins. Ball gets out. Starts making its way up the midfield line. It's with number 14, Mancini. Oneonta will get their first possession of the game. Feed in the middle to Moore. Pass back out, up top. Ball's up top now. Sunio Nanto is really tight with their cutters in the middle. They've got two kind of crowding the middle there. Kind of an errant shot, but it gets picked up again by Oneonta. It's up top with Evans. Evans being tightly defended by McKinley. Ball's behind now. Only 25 seconds left on the shot clock. Shot and save. Great job by the senior goalie, Olivia Kazanjian. Clears it out to number six, Lara Strunk, senior defender. That's the old and trusty for the thoroughbreds. Oh, yeah. Strunk's got some wheels on her. Strunk passes off to Schwartzman, who passes it down to Modesti while they wait for some people to come in on the attacking zone. Mar Mar Mark goes for the inside drive, pulls it out, finds Modesti. It's a pretty solid defense here from Oneonta. They are not letting the Thoroughbreds get their crease roll that they like having so often, and that's not another save for Hawkins in cage. Shot. Beautiful stop from a drive for number seven, Maeve McKinley. Modesti with that lockdown defense again. Bush passes the ball out. Finds Moore. Moore trying to transition the ball. Swarmed by five thoroughbreds. Gets the ball out easy, though. 
with number 14, Mancini. Mancini to Evans. Evans to Vasquez. And the ball is passed out. It'll be with number 22, Emma Sellers, on the thoroughbreds for the transition back. New 90 for the thoroughbreds. Sellers tries to dodge two SUNY players and was unable to get out of that. And Oneata will pick up the ball. It'll be number 10, Doherty. Oneata will start working that around the eight again. They got a new 90, so there's about 70 seconds left on that. Evans to Mancini. Back and forth. Behind with Moore. Moore and Downey working behind the net. Oneonta's playing very tight in with each other, and they're making these, like, two-yard passes. Yeah. That was a uh, pole in the middle. Shot high. But Oneonta will keep the ball from the chase. It's bobbled up at the top, though. Evans tries to settle it with Mancini. Three-man game up there. Yeah, shot there from Evans goes high, so it'll be Thoroughbred's ball as Sellers was closest to the line. Looks like they're clearing it through Kazanjan. Kazanjan will find Strunk, and they will get that passing up the field. Schneider will bring it into the Thoroughbred attacking end, give it off to Joe Lockwood. So far, a scoreless game here. Ball's behind with Modesti. Looking for that crease roll. For the senior attacker. Goal from number 17, Gabriella Modesti, to start off scoring with eight minutes left to go in the quarter. That was a few offensive takes by both Oneonta and Skidmore before the first goal came. Mm. Both teams are locking down defense, and that's a draw for Oneonta. Ball is up top with Vasquez. Lockdown D from Skidmore down on the crease. We're seeing that on both sides. They do not want those crease rolls happening. Messy ground ball, but Harris comes up with it. Oneonta's really looking to feed into the middle, and Skidmore's stopping that with their backer defense. It's really crowded there in the middle of the eight. Their passes are not getting off. Hudner is racing into the attacking zone. Finds Lockwood. Lockwood will drop I believe it'll actually be an eight meter shot for Skidmore. I guess they called a foul after. Wait. Really? Yeah. I don't really understand that. I thought if it... It's fine. I would like I would like someone to explain that call to us. Yeah, I also thought it went in. Everyone thinks it went in around... Oh, well, that one will go high. If it went in, we didn't we wouldn't have to play the song. But that one went high, so that'll stay with Skidmore. They've got a new 60 on the shot clock, so Hudner will take that one to goal and score.
Whatever. That's interesting. All right. So after that little confusing moment, that goal came from Lily Hudner off that rebound from Jill Lockwood's original shot. All right. So that draw goes up and it'll... <laughs> Okay, hold on.
Okay, we're going back on. Okay, ready? We are so sorry about that. About the technical difficulties technical that difficulties. we're facing here today. It's the rain. It is. It has to be the rain. Gotta be something. Not our fault. Just the talent. Trying our hardest. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell that. Uh, we are communicating with our in-house DJ to play the goal song. Yes. And I got a little excited. It's quick. Um, okay, well, that goal came from, I think it was Lizzie Walsh. There was just a little fast pace with the live stream coming back on, but we're ready now. You know what? The thoroughbreds just don't stop. No, and it is 6-0 skid war in the first quarter with three minutes left to play. They don't hear the song. Oh, it's just screaming? Mm hmm All right. That's a drag and draw control there. It was really beautiful. They got it down into their attacking end. We've got Doherty to Evans. And Evans to Mancini. Looks like they keep running a three-man game up top there. McKinley went for the interception between Mancini and Evans. A little bit of a collision there. It's going to go be a dragon ball. But we'll see if there's a card on the play. No card. But the Thoroughbreds will be subbing out McKinley, probably for a breather. That was a tough collision between the two of them for the interception. Doherty finds Downey. Moore feeds up top. Almost an interception. And Taylor picks it up. Dropped, though. Harris. Check. And that's going to be Thoroughbred ball. Ella Harris, number 26, will find Reagan. Thank you. Couldn't Who see will? the number at all. Reagan to Shrunk, and Shrunk will bring it down to throw about attacking end. Let's get another offensive possession here for the Thoroughbreds with Schwartzman passing back to Ross. Now Mar. Ross looking for the feed. Feeds into Mar. Beautiful assisted goal from Ross to uh, Mar over the net. Beautiful goal there. Beautiful. From, from Mar. Great pass from Ross. Kind of her bread and butter there behind. Absolutely. I'd love to see Ross drive it, though. She's got such good stick skills. And she, she's tall. She could really get, get Little Dunkarooski. Oh, yeah. On the Slam keeper. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Back to the draw, we have Harris, who perfectly finds Snyder, but can't quite get a hold of it. Struggling on the ground ball here. Oh. It's knocked down there by Oneonta, but I think that call is out of bounds. So. Got to get those ground balls super crucial to the game. Field's wet, though. Yep. I don't know if the camera's picking it, picking it up, but it is drizzling out there. Happy to be inside a nice box with the roof. Yep. Oneonta left wide open there. Uh, that goal came from Elizabeth Doherty. 
She was kind of just wide open there yeah. in the elbow. No one picked her up, so she had a straight shot there on Kazanjin. Not much she can do there. No, found a hole. Yeah. In, I think uh, Skidmore was in a backer there. Just beautiful, right? Kind of. They've been working a three-man game up top, uh, two below, and I think two on the elbows. And Doherty was just on that elbow, ready to go. Yeah, that would be Oniata's first goal of the game. So score is seven to one with one minute left to play in the quarter. Again, why those draw controls are so crucial. Just possession, possession, possession. So true, Kate. Hopefully, uh. Hopefully both teams are feeling the fire now. Oh, yeah. Ready to play another beautiful three quarters of lacrosse. The Red Dragons are feeling the fire. That's good. That's yeah. a good one. Ball is up there. Harris almost grabs it, but De Benedictus will get that draw control. Off to Taylor. Ross behind passes to Schwartzman. Who's looking to take that to goal? Dodges. Feed from Ross to Lockwood. Shot. That goal came from Jill Lockwood, the junior, with the assist from Phoebe Ross. Draws back at the circle. Harris gets the control. Ella takes it in. Shot and save. Beautiful save. Great save there from Oneonta. Oneonta looking to transition the ball up here. Ball will go out there, so it'll be back to Skidmore. That would have been pretty epic if Harris had scored that goal. Yeah. And that's uh, time for the quarter. So the score is Skidmore 8. Oneata, we have 1. And we will be back in 2 minutes.
Alrighty, Skidmore fans, we are back. Second quarter. Draws, Draws up. And it's picked up by Harris. The sun is coming out. Second quarter. Harris looks like she's taking it to goal again. Oh no, she pulled it out, passed it to Ross. Everyone's a threat on this team. That's oh, what Harris is just showing. Not only is she the backer defender, but she's also an offensive threat. Absolutely great save by Hawkins. Gets the ball out. I'm not quick enough with <laughs> reading. <laughs> Okay, balls is with furs. <laughs> oh, interception for Modesti to start that second quarter. Is that her second of the game on the transition? She's had a few of those. She looks like she's pushing that to goal, but she'll pull it out. Working the elbow there. Passes back to Ross. Ross up top to Hudner. Now Cafaso. Seeing some new faces on the attack down there. Feed in from Ross. That goal came there from Maddie Marr with that assist from Phoebe Ross again. Phoebe Ross really has an eye for those open open girls. Absolutely. The Threads the needle there. Ball's up. And Cafaso just maintains possession of that drop beautifully. Brings it down to the attacking end. Plenty of time for the thoroughbreds on the shot clock. We're seeing Brewer come in on attack. It's out with Hudner. Looks like thoroughbreds are running a stack and an iso for Hudner. To shoot, shot goes wide, backed up by Schwartzman. Marr looks to drive, feeds in, and finds Brewer across. All right, that goal came from Allison Brewer with the assist again from Phoebe Ross, and it looks like there's a timeout on the field. I'm not sure who it was called by, but I assume Oneonta. I think that's a good As guess. Skidmore pushes their lead 10 to 1. Yeah, we got 13 minutes left in this half. Ross with four assists already on the day. I'd like to see her try to drive. I know I said that earlier, but I do think that she's got the skills. Oh, yeah. She's got to get herself in front of the, the net. She yeah. likes to hide out down behind X, and she's got a great take. Additional attacking plays. Oh. It's on. It's Got working. it. We're going. <laughs> We're going to go back to the draw. <laughs> we, yeah, we are. We're just going to go back to the draw. Harris 
Cafaso. Who's on the far side? Q. Hudner. Hudner. With. A tried and true draw team there. Absolutely. Evans. Bush. And, uh. Can't see it on the other side. Draws up. up. Almost looked like Hella went early there. Yeah, I saw that too. They're still fighting for that ground ball. Slick on the field. Yeah. That rain is helping nobody. I was Cassidy Moore trying to pick that one up, but couldn't ball. quite get it. Ball was checked out of her stick and hit out of bounds. So that's going to be a thoroughbred ball. Reagan will find Strunk. Strunk will pass to Schwartzman in the attacking zone. We've got Hudner up top. Modesti passes back to Ross. Marr going to goal here. Passes back. Knocked down there by Oneonto. Feed in from Ross to, Caf to Cafaso, but ball is dropped, and that'll stay with the Oneonto goalie. That's a great Julia Hawkins. pick up, though, from Ross. Yeah. Missed. Clear. Intercepted there by Hudner. She is dodging to Cage. Shot hits the goalie. That did not look like it felt good for Julia Hawkins. But you know what? That's a stat. Good for her. Yeah, that is. That a was a tough roller shot there. Really hard to read those on wet turf. She did a great job, and that ball got out with plenty of time for the Red Dragons to make something happen in their attacking end. Julia Hawkins is going to get subbed out here for Oneonta with a little goalie switch after that shot. I'm starting this back on, all right? All right, so that was a little goalie sub there for Oneonta, and they're back on offense. I think it's Gallagher in net now. Yeah. So that offensive set ends with a save there from Kazanjan, and they will work the ball up the field. We have Strunk pushing the ball up the field. She's Come on, Strunk! To goal, but she, she stops. Passes off to Hudner up top. Back to Schwartzman. Love a defender goal. Oh yeah. Probably one of the th <laughs> one of the things I get most hype about. Cafaso dodges, will drop the ball, and it'll get picked up there by Oneonta. That's Sweeney. No. It's Paul. They will swing the ball. And they will... Matt, with high it. pressure there from the Thoroughbreds. Oh, yeah. They're really on that redefend, but no matter. Red Dragons get it to their uh, attacking end. Ball's up top there with Evans. Evans to Mancini. Mancini to Moore. Back to Mancini. Up to Evans. Feeds in, but intercepted. 
by Annie Campbell there, and she's pushing it down the field. She is going with speed to the offensive zone. That was a great interception there. Feed in the middle to Schwartzman. Can't quite get that shot off. Now it's Ross dodging the cage. Matt with a double team on both sides there. Dropped the ball. Picked up by number 27. Alini. Furs gets the ball off. Finds Doherty. Doherty almost gets checked by Modesti and gets over. Again, Thoroughbreds really do not want that ball going across that restraining line. Oh. We see senior attacker Modesti telling the attack to slow it down a little bit, settle it, give everyone a little bit of a break. And that's that a shot and goal. For Oneonta. That goal came from Cassidy Moore for Oneonta. And that is their second goal of the game. The score is 10 to 2, Skidmore. And we're headed back to the draw. Back to the draw. Still got McKinley, Hudner, or Charlotte Taylor, actually, over there. And sticking with Ella Harris on the draw there. Ball is up. McKinley chases it down, picks it up. Great draw control there for the third reds. We have Taylor. Dodges to Cage. Great dodge. Great pump fake but it looks like that was a call on Skidmore so Oneonta's looking to get the fast break here pretty good clear out yeah I think that was part of the new rule change that if the shot gets taken with the whistles blowing if it goes in it stays but if it's a save they don't redo the shot uh, okay. it just becomes a save and it's just to give credit where credit's due for goalkeeper yeah. saves yeah, it just was a little tips unfair when all the goals that went in counted, but all the saves didn't. Yeah, and keepers had to go back through it. So great work by uh, Gallagher and Nett. Mancini took a shot there. It went tipped off Kazanjan's stick and went high. They were able to recover the ball. We have Moore again with a cross the eight feet to Doherty. Doherty's... Passes, but stopped by the defense there. Pretty locked down defense by the Thoroughbreds. There's a foul down there, so it'll be a eight meter shot. Can't quite tell who that is on the line. Shot and save. That was number 24, Downey. Great save there by Kazanjan. Just kind of stuffed that girl. Find Sellers on the clear. Sellers looked like she was going to get stuck there. But no, perfect to Taylor. Taylor brings it down to their attacking end. Mar has the ball behind the goal line extended. Feeds upward. Shot and goal for Al. I wish Dawson sat closer. Goal there came from Allison Brewer. I think that's her second of the game. Second of the game. 
she came in fast. I think she's running the box there and just surprised some of those defenders coming in yeah, with that much speed. It's wide open. Back to the draw here. Falls up. That was an empty check. Draw control but Harris. thoroughbred ball. Finds Modesti. Modesti to Mar. Mar brings it behind the goal cage. Goal line extended. Behind the cage. Finds Ross. Ross tries to feed it front crease to Mar. Mar was overthrown but picked up by Taylor. Taylor to McKinley. And the ball gets back down with Ross. <laughs> Up top of Taylor. Up top now with McKinley. McKinley's Setting a dodging. pick. Now Modesti. Shot and save there. Another great save for Courtney Gallagher. Wow, great ride there from Skinmore. Modesti with the defense and Ross with the check. They did not let... Busemi get anywhere with that. Mm -mm. Kenley with the ball up top with Modesti. Finds Ross down low to Lockwood. Looks like Skidmore's trying to settle. Maybe try to get into a play here. Kenley clears the lane for Taylor. Taylor gets checked. It's going to be a Shot clock reset, I believe. That's what that motion was for. Or not. Yeah, guess not. Still 50 seconds left on the shot clock. Assume the thoroughbreds will work to get a play going here. Modesti dodges. Shot goes wide. Actually, looks like it hit Ross. She kind of... Yeah. She, the ball dropped, though, so Skidmore picked it up. 30 seconds on the shot clock for the thoroughbreds. Ross coming around the crease, feeds in. Shot. All right, the Thoroughbreds lead by 10 goals. So the clock is now running. Goal there came from Maddie Marr with another assist from Phoebe Ross. She's got five assists on the day. Wow. Wow. We got... Balls up. Oh, oh. No call there. Yeah, a little bit of a violent check there. Oneonta is getting a little scrappy in the middle of the field. Wait. They need to, though. Those possessions are going to count for them. Oh, yeah. And if they can frazzle the thoroughbreds, that might be their best help. It's about adjustments now. Hopefully they'll lock down Ross. They should have locked down Hudner. That was a beautiful goal on a...
Another goal there from Lily Hudner. That's her second of the day. Mar with the hat trick and two assists. Wow. Yeah, exciting stuff. Balls up. Ball's being transitioned down to the red dragon attacking end here. Ball's behind. Passes up top. Evans missed pass. Picked up by Lockwood. Great check by Furs. Picked up by Evans. Evans and Mancini have the ball. Finds more. More drops. The pass behind the net. Up to Evans. Evans looks to drive. Shot and save. A shot came from Wilkinson. And the chase will go to Emma Sellers on the thoroughbreds. Great play there from Lip Zandran with six saves on the day. Two goals against. Easy transition there for the Thoroughbreds. They just got it right down the field. Got some new faces on attack here. We've got number 30, Emma Caulfield, for the Thoroughbreds. We have in the mix now. Caulfield dodging, met with some defense, finds Ross. Only 44 seconds on the shot clock and about 45 on the game clock. Caulfield dodging, passes out to Brewer. Surprised they're not locking down Ross here a little bit closer so she can't get those passes Yeah. with the amount of assists she's had on the game. Yeah. Absolutely. I'd play a little tighter behind the net, but that's me. De Benedictus dodges. Great save. Good save with 10 For seconds left to go in this half. Gallagher overthrows the clear, Picked and up by Strunk. Strunk will get it. Keeps the ball. Didn't even drop it. That'll be a – should be a green card there, so. I'm unclear what so that motion was. Oh, okay. They're reaching for their card. Yeah, green card. So they should be able to go into the next quarter still with that card. Absolutely. With only two seconds left to play. Shrunk will probably just hold the ball. Yeah. But you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> She's swarmed with four players right now. Yes, they are walking her down right now. I don't know if she'll be able to get to the goal in two seconds. What do you think? You know what? She is one of the speediest players I've ever seen. Yeah. And she will barrel her way, her way there, so. <laughs> Two seconds might be enough. And she keeps it. All right. That is the end of the first half. We will be back in 10 minutes for some.
All right. Okay, we're coming back. Ready? We are back. It is the third quarter. We start with the ball because they had a they had a card. Wow, that end. was like a very like <laughs> you hit all the marks you needed to. We are back. It we start with the ball. They got a card. One breath. Woman up. Woman up. Thoroughbreds. D. Benedictus with the ball. Passes it to Hunter. <laughs> I'm being super direct. <laughs> no problem there for the thoroughbreds. Nope. We have Ross up top. That's new. Yeah. I like it. Quarterbacking from another part of the field. Passes to D. Benedictus. She uh, tripped, I think. There. I really just think the turf monster got her. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Still throw a red ball. Ball's up top. Pass to Brewer. Back to Ross. Feed in. Shot. All right, we are back. Card goes away. <laughs> Card goes away. Ball back to draw. Yes. And new goalie for the Thoroughbreds. Yes. Goal there came from Emma Caulfield. Exciting stuff. Joe Lockwood on the draw now. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? I'm just now realizing we might have pulled our seniors to get some new legs in here this game. Yeah, I think I do see that. I do not see a senior. We've got uh six of them on the on the team this year. All starters all make a tremendous impact on the field, oh, as yeah. we could see in that first half. Yes. So we have uh, a new group out there. Exciting stuff. Well not new, but you know, different. Caulfield up top with the ball. Caulfield to Brewer. Back to Ross. D. Benedictus passes down to Lockwood. Lockwood really controlling the offense right now as a junior. Caulfield to Hudner. Hudner dodging. Draws a little shooting space call there. We'll get a three position shot. Shot and goal for a hundred off the free position shot. <laughs> Another Skidmore goal. That one came from Lily Hudner. It's gonna be really hard for them to come back in this quarter. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if anyone heard that. We have we Owen in the box with us today again. If anyone was here on Wednesday. Yeah. He's DJing for us that goal songs. Yep. And uh, he's given us that fresh, new, young insight into that lacrosse. That perspective. We love hearing his ideas. Score is 15 Skidmore, 2 Oneonta. Owen says it might be hard to come back from this one. But we'll have to see. There's a lot of lacrosse left to play. A lot of lacrosse, but uh, the Red Dragons are going to have to make some adjustments here. Lockwood dodges. 
passes back to Ross, who feeds into Pontoni, but ball is dropped and out with Caulfield now. Caulfield met with some tough defense there. Huntner to Lockwood. Lockwood looking for a pass off a stack on the other side of the eight. Passes it to Caulfield. Ball is still up top with Hudner. Ten seconds left on the shot clock there. Hudner dodges. Shot goes wide. It'll get picked up by Oneonta. We still have Courtney Gallagher in goal for the Red Dragons. Ball gets cleared out to Moore. Moore takes it herself. Walks the dog here. Oh, yeah. Goes, dodges, and beautiful save. By Thoroughbreds. Passes it out to a, a new defensive unit. Ali Belair, Aaron McMorris on the field here now. Lockwood with that far pass all the way across the 30, almost, with to Caulfield, and Caulfield dodging, passes it to D. Benedictus, back out to Hudner, Hudner over to Brewer, who passes back to Ross, feed in, ball's dropped, but Hudner will recover it. Ross is still getting that stick free for her to get those assists out. Oh, yeah. Lockwood met with some defense. Back to Ross. Ball sent all the way up. Tough defense there by Oneonta. That was Marissa Evans, I believe. Knocks down Emma Caulfield. No card there. And the ball will go out from a missed pass there and be a red dragon ball. Quick transition for the red dragons. Finds its way to more stick down in the attacking end. High pressure from Schneider. Finds Mancini. Mancini to pull. Finds Doherty. Doherty gets it behind to Downey. Back up top with Evans. Mancini. Doherty. Evans. Up top. Feeds it into Moore. Moore met with the backer. So it's a double team. Back to Evans. Evans drives it in. Quick pass to Mancini. Mancini shot and goal. That was a nice goal there for Mancini. She faked high, snuck it right underneath the goalie. Really working to find that hole in the backer. Yeah, that was a solid offensive set there. Quick ball movement. Really tripped up that young defense there and led to a beautiful shot and goal. And we'll go back to a draw. We have Taylor at the center for the Thoroughbreds. Alongside Lavalli and Cafasso. Joining them on the circle is Furs. And I believe that's Evans who took the center draw and more. Thoroughbreds get the possession. Cavasso tosses the ball over a Red Dragon player. Yeah, nice way to get, get away from it. It worked. Caulfield up top. Skips it over to Taylor. 
Taylor to Kafaso. Kafaso dodges. Passes it to Taylor. Skidmore goal there from Charlotte Taylor with the assist from Julia Cavazzo. Great work there for the Thoroughbreds for goal number 16. Balls up. And Evans comes up with that draw. Beautiful work. But with no pressure on the transition there. Find Storty. On the defense, we're seeing Lily Tracy and Brooke LaValle in there for the first time. As well as Amanda Gardner. Oh, yeah. Ball's behind. Up with Doherty. Met with shooting space there. It'll be a shooting space call on Lily Tracy with the free position for Doherty. Takes the shot and scores off the free position. Offside low, buried it in the net there. That is the fourth goal for the Red Dragons. Clock continues to run as we're, Skidmore is up by more than 10 points. So there's only three minutes and 15 seconds left of play here in the third. Balls up. That's going to be a pole possession. It's picked up there by Cafasa. Pass to LaValle. LaValle will take that into the offensive side with speed. Behind with Ross. Pass up top to Cafasa. Cafasa will dodge. Feed in to Taylor. Taylor to Ross, feed in. Feed into Allison Brewer, and she'll get hit in the head there and get knocked down. No call. Doherty will push that into the attack. They'll look to get a fast break here. It's more easy shot there. Skidmore gets the save. The Belair. Find Taylor overthrown pass and the ball will go out of bounds. With Buscemi. Down with Doherty in the attacking end. Minute 20 left in the quarter. Finds pull. Seeing a new face here on the Red Dragon attack. Stiso up top. Almost an interception there from McMorris. Knocks down the shot. It'll stay with the Red Dragons. 45 seconds left on the sh uh, quarter clock. Finds Doherty. Doherty shoots. Buries it in the back of the net from the top of the eight. Another goal there for Elizabeth Doherty.
That's her third of the day. Hat trick for Doherty. She's figured out how to get past this thoroughbred defense. Hopefully she can share some of those secrets with the rest of her teammates for the last quarter. <laughs> and we'll go into that right now. Time will run out in the third. We will be back in two minutes. Shall we? We are back. Last fourth, quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. 15 minutes running time as soon as this draw starts. Thoroughbreds lead by 11. Almost close to not being running time. I don't know. On the draw there was Charlotte Taylor with Hudner and LaValle. Quick possession for the Red Dragons. Swinging it. They find uh, Uskemi. Uskemi to Alani. Looks like there is a free position shot here for the Red Dragons. Shot and save. Picked up by Taylor on the rebound. Tough defense there from Doherty with the check. Taylor can't get the ground ball. It's picked up by Moore. Moore will find a... Cannot see that number. Not at all. But there was a shot. And it got blocked by the valley, I think. So, skin more ball now. We have Hannah Nash on offense. And see Grace Gerbach with the catch and dodge. Passes back to Ross. Ross feeds into Nash. 
shot and save. Great passes there from Ross. Easy transition for the Red Dragons. Ball end up in Stiso stick. Making its way behind. Is that number 17? Yeah. Dodenhoff. Finds Stiso. Stiso shot. Save. Looks like another shot there by Wilkinson, but it goes wide, and they're, they're fighting for a ground ball. They'll go to the Thoroughbreds, Amanda Gardner. Great work between the Thoroughbreds. Ione and Cage shaking, chasing after that, really putting the pressure on the Red Dragons there, and uh, Gardner was able to back it up, get the possession. Great clear there by McMorris to Hudner. Hunter to Grubach. Ross to Nash. Ball's up top. The foul called. And Thoroughbreds will keep, maintain possession of the ball. False start. From the Thoroughbreds, number three, Grace Grabach, and it'll be a Red Dragon ball. Good ride there from the Thoroughbreds. Right and out of bounds. Yeah, Nash pushes her right out of bounds. That was Mackenzie Bush with the turnover. Ball's up top with Hudner. Caulfield's coming in. Down low with Ross. That'll, that'll be a push out of bounds, so Ross will get to keep the ball. Behind the net has, like, it's not the critical scoring area, but it's got special rules back there, so it's not a self-start. It's actually got the ball back. That's special rules. <laughs> special rules. I don't know. Caulfield up top, dodging. You won't see me cry. <laughs> Another goal there from Emma Caulfield. <laughs> Score is 17 to 5. Thoroughbred. The heads up. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, is it not on? Uh, it's on. <laughs> uh, no possession yet. No. And the Red Dragons pick it up. Only nine minutes left to play. Interception there by <laughs> Cafaso. Wow. Passes it into Ross. What? Oh wow. my goodness, I have never been so excited. All I've been asking is for a Ross goal, and boy oh boy was that beautiful. <laughs> that was Kafasa who got that interception, didn't take it, passed into Ross. 
Beautiful. Zinger in the back of the net. We love that. Seven points for Ross on the day. Ooh. Proves that girl's not just an assister. She can be anywhere on the field. Yes. The Benedictus. Up top. High pressure from the Dragons. Quick dodge. Lockwood back on the field. Lockwood helped controlling the defense or offense here. Well, stuff. We're working with those younger players. Ball is dropped. Ball oh. will go out of bounds, so it'll go to. McMorris. McMorris will find Cafasa. Cafasa up top with it. Going behind. Up to Brewer. Feeds into Ross. Ross getting pushed around out there. Does not seem to phase her. Not at all. Holding on to that ball. Ready to just make a move when she wants to. Doesn't want to force anything. Feed into Nash. Met with some tough defense, so looks like she will get a free position shot there. It was a uh, upright check, mm -hmm. but you don't see that call very often. But she'll get the free position shot. Great free position shot there from Hannah Nash to bring the Skinmore lead to 19 to 5. Center circle with Lockwood. Only five minutes left to play here. Beautiful draw for Lockwood. Right into her stick. Finds the Benedictus. High pressure from defense here. Pulled off though. Ross looking for those passes. They are tightly defending her. Feed in. in. All right, time out here on the field. I don't think it's spring. They look to all be celebrating Phoebe Ross as with her seventh assist, she has broken the single game assist record at Skidmore. She broke it earlier this season as well. Or tied it? Yeah, she tied, tied the single it. game assist record with six assists and and now she has officially broken it. With seven. That is awesome. 
great achievement there for the freshman. Absolutely. Incredible. And a game, a goal on the game. Yeah. Eight-point game. That is exciting stuff. And the Skidmore lead is 20 to 5. Four Four minutes minutes left in the game. Four minutes left. Okay, we'll be back. All right, we're back. We are back. Four minutes left to play here. Draw goes to Cafaso. Pulling it out high. Falls up top with Caulfield. High pressure on the body. Taylor. Wow. Yeah. That was definitely a yellow card. Just to watch those refs whip that flag right out of their pockets. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a yellow card there. Yeah. I believe Early that's on uh, up. Is that pole? Yeah. That'll be a free position shot for Taylor. Let's see what Skidmore does here. That card pretty much will last him the rest of the game. There's about a minute left after that. Unless, of course, they score here. And. All right, back to the draw. All even. Yep. So that yellow card did actually not, did not last. It lasted two no. <laughs> It lasted about one second. <laughs> <laughs> back to Lockwood. Lockwood doing Ooh! great on those draws, right to herself. That was beautiful. Yeah, with Ella Harris graduating next year. Looks like Jill might be stepping into those shoes. Looked like a uh, an illegal screen on Cafaso there. Mm. So it'll be the Red Dragons ball. Only two minutes left to play here. Moore will have the ball. Ball is behind. They're getting some of their attackers in there from the box. Ball with Moore. Moore feeds in. Pole shoots and scores.
Back to center circle. Lockwood versus Evans. Only 50 seconds left here. So. We've got a Cafaso and Moore matchup and a Furs and Lavalley matchup on the circle. Another great draw. Self-draw there by Jill Lockwood. This time Cafaso not setting that pick. Lockwood is getting chased down with a push there. Multiple pushes there by Evans. But... No pressure on Lockwood. She's just going to stand there. Yeah. Only 16 seconds left to play. Lockwood will get pushed again <laughs> by Evans. Trying to lock her down. Only four seconds left here to play. She will just toss the ball. And time will run out. Great team win here by the Thoroughbreds today. I think uh, almost everyone touched the field here. Yeah, record-breaking performance by Phoebe Ross. Absolutely. Yeah, um, we will be back this weekend for a doubleheader. I think so. Yeah, Friday night and Saturday, so tune in. Check the schedule, check the times. We'll be here. We'll be here. Pretty sure it's this weekend. I feel good about that. If it's not, then we'll see you whenever that weekend is. Absolutely. And if you're listening, uh, this was a Morgan's Message game. Yes. If you're interested in learning more about athletes and mental health advocation, go ahead and check that out online. Yes. Um, Morgan's Message is an awesome foundation that works with student athletes. So we're happy to be supporting it today. Absolutely. All right. Thank you.